tag video, I actually got tagged by someone. Yay! Allie from over at the Little Librarian tagged me in this video, and it is the Winter Wonderland book tag. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I am going to have so much fun with this. Question one. What book is so happy and sweet that it warms your heart? So it's not 100% happy and sweet all the time, but it is pretty sweet and it has its moments and I really love the concept of it. So I am going with Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I love this book. I read it because Jesse the Reader is like obsessed with it. And so I decided, you know, I'm going to try it. And I fell in love with it, ran through the whole series. I loved it. I was so, so, so happy with it. And I love the movie. The movie was very different from the book. But I love it. And it makes me warm and fuzzy because of all the cute, sweet things that happen and the friendships that he makes. Question two. What is your favorite book with a white cover? So I am going with the same answer that Allie went with, and that is Heartless. Oh my gosh, this, this cover is beautiful. I love it, and I love the book. I really enjoyed it. I know some people found it to drag a little bit in the middle, but I really, really, really enjoyed it. I found it thrilling, and I did not call the plot twist near the end. I loved, loved, loved this book. I am so glad I got it in both the regular edition and this one. Question three. You're sitting by a nice warm fire, cozy with a onesie. I prefer my mermaid blanket, but okay. And a nice warm cup of hot chocolate. What monster read are you reading? I have two answers for this one. One for the monster as in like it's about a monster of some sort. So for that one, I chose Stalking Jack the Ripper. Oh my gosh, this book was so good. I loved it. I was so intrigued by all of it. I, I highly recommend this, especially if you're interested in murder mysteries and oh my gosh Jack the Ripper definitely qualifies as a monster if we're going for the way that I read the tag for a monster book like a ginormous book what ginormous book am I reading it's gonna be winter by Marissa Meyer because well first of all it's over 800 pages second of all this series is amazing I love this series <clears throat> I just can't with this series. I love it so much. Question four. It started snowing and you decide to have a snowball fight. Which fictional character would you enjoy having the snowball fight with? For this question, I am going back to Stalking Jack the Ripper, actually. And before you guys give me that look, just listen. Thomas Cresswell. Thomas Cresswell. Yes. All the yes. I love his character. He's fantastic. Thomas Cresswell, 100%. Question five. Sadly, your fire is beginning to go out. What book do you tear the last few chapters out of and throw into the fire? I really don't feel like this needs explaining. Honestly, thinking back on it, it can have the whole series, especially the second book. But the I'll throw the whole series into the fire because thinking back on it, I'm just, it glorifies abuse and Christian is a jerk and just, no, throwing it into the fire. And finally, question six, what book is so close to your heart that you would gift it this Christmas? to someone who has never read before, but wants to get into reading. Hmm, what book is it that I talk about constantly? What series is it that I talk about constantly? Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I love this series. I recommend it to everybody I talk to. I love, love, love it. I actually did gift it to somebody this year. Um, it wasn't a, uh, person that doesn't read at all, but she 
likes dystopians, and this kind of has a little bit of a dystopian element to it. So I thought she would like this, and we've actually been talking about it since the day she hired me. It's my boss. So I found a copy of the paperback at Half Price Books for like five bucks. So I'm like, she needs to have this because she was my secret Santa, and we've talked about it since I got hired six months ago, and she says she's so excited to read it. She's just finishing up the fever code and then she's going to get into it, and I am so excited to hear what she has to think about it. And that is it for the Winter Wonderland book tag. I am so excited that I finally got tagged in one of these videos. I feel like it's a miracle I finally hit it and become a part of the booktube community, like, officially. So it makes me so happy. Thank you, Allie, for tagging me. I am going to link her video down below as well as the original. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, so I will see you in my next video. Bye!